Hi, everybody. It's so good to see your faces. Welcome again to uh, Town Hall. This is DEI facilitated. So we have a, a few leaders who are going to help us with our conversation today. Um, the first thing we're going to do, as per usual, is energy check. So, Chip, if you can help us out with the energy, energy check poll. I certainly will. So coming up on your screen is going to be the energy check on a scale of 1 to 10. What is your energy level right now? Feel like we need some kind of theme music going on as this is happening. Do, do, like, do, do. Like, right. Well, I was thinking more like the dating game or something. <laughs> match, match game. I'll ask E Step to help me with that next time. I was about to say, I was about to unmute and come up with something. I didn't know what was going to come out, but it was going to be great. <laughs> right. I mean, I figured I was channeling that Virgo. We Make it happen. Make it happen. The gong show. Oh, we could do that. <laughs> we could do that. All right. So what do we have with our poll? How are we feeling? Is it up? I'll see. How? Oh, zing. All right, people. We're feeling we're good energy today. Yeah. Does anyone of the eights wanted to share one thing about like what's making you feel an eight right now? Happy birthday, Abby. Of course. It's St. Patrick's and it's Abby's birthday. Happy birthday. It, I, it does appear that there are celebrations going on over on that neck of the woods. Absolutely. I have a great team that uh, made me feel very loved on my birthday. It was all my idea. Okay, maybe it wasn't. But <laughs> happy birthday. Okay. Does anyone want to share besides uh, the eight that we all share for Abby's birthday? <laughs> all fine. So I am now going to introduce our hosts for today, if I can see them on my screen. We have Maura, who's our director of HR, and Kelly, who's with our development office. So they will be kicking us off with introducing our theme. Go ahead, ladies. Good afternoon, everybody. Maura again. Um, today we are going to be focusing on celebrating Women's History Month, um, celebrating all the women have paved the way for us to be here today. Can you hear me? Not. It's a little, we're getting some static. Yeah. Okay, so we're here today to celebrate um, all the women who've made history, all the women who have paved the way for us to be here today. Um, we're gonna be taking um, a poll, we're gonna be asking questions. Um, this is gonna be very interactive and we hope to make it fun for everybody as well and also possibly make it a learning opportunity. I learned from just seeing the slides. So over to you, Kelly. Yeah, I, you know, Women's History Month, we all know amazing women. We have some that we work with every day. And, you know, I just would, you know, as you're going through this process today, just think about someone who's just an amazing woman. You know, we, we all know them. So just let's celebrate them this month and, you know, take a moment and reach out to them, send them a text and or email and just make that connection, right? That's what we're about. So let's roll. Thanks, Kelly. Thanks, Maura. Um, I know Jillian had some technical difficulties, but hey, today's going to be slightly different. We will have discussion um, at the end of our session today, but we have a trivia game, you know, in almost inspiration, pulling in Jay Gregorio with all of his Kahoot games. Um, we do have something very similar. So Jillian, are you on just yet? We don't have Jillian yet. So we are going to fill with some of the questions first, and then we're going to go back to the trivia questions when she lets me know she is back on. So I'm going to share our Google Doc as per usual, because I know you guys like routine, you know what to expect. So as per usual, we're going to put in some, um, the link to the Google Doc right there to help us with some discussions about what's going on in women's history and how we feel about women in our organization. So some people might be chiming in on the phone. So the first question is, is the Children's Guild doing enough to promote equity for women in the organization? Second, how have women impacted the overall success of the organization? Third, how can we continue to educate our students and youth, not just our students in our school, but also in our other programs about the uh, contributions of women in history? How can we empower our young men and women to build equity in school, work, athletics, and relationships? And finally, other thoughts. So I'm gonna give uh, some time for people to fill in some thoughts on here. 
um, either some additional or answer some of the questions. And then after that, we're going to have a little fun with our trivia game. So surprisingly, I'm going to be quiet for a minute. <laughs> I don't know who giggled, but hey. <laughs> I was timing you. You failed there, but that's all right. <laughs> we appreciate you, Ray. They say you can do anything for a minute. That was a very hard minute for me to be quiet. Thanks, Kelly. Thanks for reminding me. <laughs> I lasted all but 10 seconds on the first round. Okay, so I'm just gonna share a few things um, as we go through here. Some great stuff as usual. Okay, uh, how have women impacted the overall success of the organization? We have a super excited about the Children's Guild new CEO. Bah! Well done, you. Whoever that is spoke to my heart. Thank you for being oh, very proud. I don't mind telling on myself for that one. It was was that you? Oh, see, of course it was. I've been yelling CEO for like ever now. You know, and I'm okay. Like, you know, even with the, the punniness of the articulation, it was like a show that person has a she. Oh, oh see, there you go. That's why I had to, I had to parenthesize the actual. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So getting to the first thing, children's girls, are we doing enough? I appreciate the recent emails highlighting women in our organization. Our CEO is a woman. Thank you, Kelly, for uh, helping to put together a lot of those email blasts in regards to what's going on. It was pretty awesome. Thank you so much. Um, we took some giant steps this year, um, but we have room to grow. Build policies that support women having families and being a leader. Noted. I know someone who takes care of policies and SOPs. Um, I would say, yes, many uh, women in administrative roles at my campus and now a female CEO. There you go. Um, we have, no. So we, we have people who do believe that we're not doing enough for equity. Let's see, we have another thing. I believe the Children's Guild could do more to promote equity for women in our organization by promoting 12 weeks of paid maternity leave. Uh, we still have more things being typed here. So I'm gonna let that go for a second. We could do more by developing, developing women and family friendly policies that help promote inclusiveness, foster work life balance for working parents for example, maternity and paternity leave. Great suggestions, everyone. Honestly, Jenny, we should take notes. Um, let's see, what wonderful progress, but miles to go. Continuing with success in our organization, when I joined the guild at PG, our principal was a fantastic woman and we currently have a fantastic woman at the helm. Historical events are frequently taught through actions of men and women's Contributions tend to be couched in relationships. Instead, we should teach history with the perspective of women and people of color. The narrative will change. Exactly right. And we had a recent discussion about that. I think Dwayne and you and I had a discussion also, one of our meetings, that a lot of the times when we talk about history of women, there's a lot of emotion that's behind it, not necessarily a lot of the other um, historical facts that go along with what women have contributed, and especially women of color. Jillian, are you on just yet? Not yet. How can we empower our young men and women to build equity um, in school, work, athletics, relationships? Helping them to be aware of current inequities is a good start. Amen. You got to kind of know where your baseline is, right? Uh, young men need models of nurturing. Right now, many of our cultural accolades are couched in the language of competition, sports achievement, and not in what it means to be a caring man. Stop promoting gender roles. Allow people to be people and treat everyone with kindness and compassion. <laughs> Other thoughts. Would Medusa and St. Patrick get along? I don't know. It depends how much libation may, one may have. Yay, Jenny. Happy birthday, Abby. Happy birthday, Abby. Abby, you're getting some shout outs. Who do I need to pay for them, for those little shout outs? Going back up to the top as someone was finishing earlier. Uh, da, 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 da. women shouldn't have to choose between career advancement and having children absolutely the way to improve is to increase their power to lead okay so the, is there some more con um, some more comments that are being made but I want to see if anyone wants to just uh, verbally contribute or add anything over in the chat also Well, I'll just say, we know that education is very female dominated 
And you don't always see that in leadership. And I'm so proud to be a part of a team of women who have held it down and showed like the, the improvement. And we have a great supportive team because it's not all women and it is um, the men that are on the team that help be supportive and don't ever treat us like we are different just because we are women. So huge shout out to the, the PG team that has it going strong. We also have a comment. Happy pre-birthday to Anna. Anna, are you on? Hi, Anna. Happy birthday. Is it tomorrow? Yes, I'm on. No, it's Sunday. Thank you. Yeah. She's like, okay, enough. Don't talk, don't talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> it will be Sunday. <laughs> Excellent. So I, I'm getting an update from Jillian saying she has one more minute on the update on her computer and then she'll be on. Of course, we're going to have tech difficulties. Chip, of course. take care of it. <laughs> well, we also do have a, a female on the IT team, don't we, Chip? Say that again? We have a, we have a female that has that had joined the IT team. We do. Shana Estrella. Right. She has been helping me remotely through my computer. And I just still think that's it's pretty uh, creepy and yet amazing when you see things happening on your computer. So thank you and to the IT team. Thank you, Appreciate Ray. That. Yeah. And Jillian has come aboard. Has she? Oh, hey, internet up. Oh, hey, internet you did that on purpose. Dude. You're starting to make me sweat. Dude, I wish. If, if, I mean, if that got me out of work, but um, I don't know where we left off. So we're just jumping in where I guess we are. Well, you know what? We warmed it. We warmed up the crowd. Okay. We went through the Google Docs. We talked about some of the accolades and successes and maybe where we have some challenges about equity for women in our organization and et cetera. And I did mention that there were going to be some trivia questions. So I don't want to be a liar. I hope oh, we got some. Not, uh, yeah, absolutely not a liar. So I need the ability to share my screen. Hmm. Chip Rooney, I think that's on you. I want it. All right. Now so I can this go. came about, um, actually, Staff of House did um, Who Am I? guess uh, a guessing game about black history month and so one of the things i asked them to do is that they could create some trivia questions for us for um women's history month so this is presented to you in conjunction by the staff of house putting most of these questions together um and so we made a nice little powerpoint so we'll get to do some guessing at chip i don't know if we created polls where people can enter their guesses or what but we'll yep, play. we have we have them all separated by question awesome so I'm going to share my screen and pretend that was with no technical hiccups at all. So we're going to go from the beginning. Oh, look, an animated graphic. See, this is why my computer crashed, people. <laughs> and next slide. Here we go. So this is in special thanks and gratitude to the Staff of House for creating questions and demonstrating the responsibility to learn about and celebrate those who shaped us. We know they will continue to change the world for the better. Here's the first one. I don't know. Can everybody see it? Do you need me to read it? I don't know. But I guess we can launch the poll too with that. Jillian, we might have some people who are also joining from phone. So I don't know if, if you want to read the question. Oh, yeah. I was just trying not to hear my voice. Oh, I clicked the answer. Oh, before you ended oh. the polling. Oh, that was terrible. So those well. of you that do know Ira Glover, this is actually her mom. So like, we are very grateful to have her as a Baltimore representative of women. All right, this one is, I was born in 1917. In 1939, I sang a rendition of A Tisket A Tasket and sold 1 million copies of this song, which skyrocketed my career. I was friends with Marilyn Monroe, who helped stand up to racist club owners, which helped me be able to perform at bigger venues. I cared a lot about child welfare, and when my career took off, I was able to donate money to different child-serving agencies. I lived from 1917 to 1996. I am Billie Holiday, Anne Ronnell, Ella Fitzgerald, or Jane Ira Bloom. 
I'm trying really hard not to click in it so I don't end it before I tell you the answer ahead of time. All right, we have that 68. And yes, Ella Fitzgerald. All right, next one. I was born in 1813 in Illinois. I was the first slave freed legally by Abraham Lincoln when he was an attorney in 1841. I was important in this fight for my freedom as well since I did not want to give up and had my case heard by the Illinois Supreme Court. My case helped to push Abraham Lincoln towards his anti-slavery stand. I was freed from slavery on July 23rd, 1841. I am Elizabeth Freeman, Nancy Leggins Costley, Mary Prince, Sarah Mapp Douglas. Close. I know, right? You're very excited. Well, you know, I don't like to be wrong. It's very hard. <laughs> I mean, honestly, people could probably go no, don't Google it. No, take that. No, don't take the fun out of it. Don't Google it. All right. Five seconds. I'm going to end the polling. All right. Share results. Oh, you guys, you didn't get this one. It is Nancy Legas Costly. Oh. See, I felt like I need to study. I need to study next time. Okay, here, here's, a, here's a good one. No pressure to get this one, guys, no, but no, no, I feel no, like you can get this one. I, I am the daughter of Indian and Jamaican immigrants. My name means locust in Sanskrit. I have written three books and one was about criminal justice reform. I was the first woman district attorney in San Francisco. I was the first South American and African American woman to become vice president of the United States. I am Kamala Harris, Shirley Chrisom, Charlotta Bass, or Condoleezza Rice. I may not have had to study for that one. Good job. <laughs> it's pretty sounding results on that one. It was Kamala Harris. Kamala, I was Kamala. Um. I was born in New York and attended Quaker schools. In 1976, I moved to Florida with my partner, Jane Verlaine. In 1975, I founded the Money for Women's Fund to support the work of feminist artists. I protested nuclear weapons with the Committee for Nonviolent Action in 1983 and was imprisoned where I wrote prison notes. I am Megan Meggs, Elizabeth Abel, Leslie Kagan, or Barbara Deming. Oops. All right, in three seconds. Three, two, one. Oh, it's a close one. It is Barbara Deming, for those of you that knew that. Next, I was the first Native American to graduate from the Women's Medical College of Pennsylvania in 1890. I returned to Omaha Reservation in Nebraska to serve 1,300 patients and help set up a hospital in 1913. I worked to help other Omaha navigate the bureaucracy of the Office of Indian Affairs and receive the money that owed them owed to them for the sale of their land. I am Susan Lafleche Picot. I'm gonna say these wrong, so I apologize. Emma Fielding Baker, Edith Turner, or Nancy Raven. I understand what it is to have your last name butchered, so I apologize right what away for anybody about? who does not, for any mispronunciation. That's why I went by first initial for a very long time. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> These are good. You are correct. Overall, we are right. It is Susan Lafish Piku. Piku, is that how you say it? It's the French. I need an SLP reading these. Um, I was born in, born in Mobile, Alabama, and I have an identical twin brother. I became the first openly transgender person to be nominated for a primetime Emmy. Mm -hmm. I was awarded an honorary doctorate for my work in the fight for gender equality. I have said about my role on Orange is the New Black, Sophia is written as a multidimensional character who the audience can really empathize with. All of a sudden, they're empathizing with a real trans person. And for trans folks out there who need to see representation of people who are like them and of their experience, that's when it became really important. I am. Lana Bloom, Rain Dove, Laverne Cox, or Miriam Rivera. I, I, I can only see a couple people on my screen from sharing and Ray's very excited when I think she thinks she knows it right away. So I just <laughs> want that demonstrated in case that I can't see everybody's excitement when they know it, but I imagine well, I also, it's there. I also did love orange, so. 
And Napoleon. You guys are right. It is Laverne Cox. What number are we on? Sorry. This is the last one. Okay. Yeah, no. I mean, I'm not keeping track of your score. You should be I mean, keeping track I of am. your own score. Yeah. I was born on <laughs> December 6, 1927 at the Sugar Plantation Camp Hamakua Poco. Okay. I, I, yeah, it's Hawaiian. I became an attorney and worked on addressing socioeconomic issues. In 1965, I became the first Hawaiian woman elected to Congress, the youngest member from the youngest state, as well as the first Japanese American woman member in Congress. I co-authored Title IX to prohibit gender discrimination in higher education. I am Jean Arayosi, Karen Awana, Hermina Morita, or Patsy Matsu Takemoto Mink. We also did not choose like super easy things for all the words, so I apologize for that. And two seconds. You guys are really good. I feel like we should make it harder next time. So yeah, it is Patsy Matsu Takemoto Mink. So that is our trivia game. So thank you for playing. But Thank special you, thanks out to Staff of House for yes. really taking spearheading that and coming up with questions. And they really designed the IM format. And so we are grateful. That, that was them. awesome. Please thank the Staff of House for us. That, that was pretty amazing. Thank you to the group homes and TFC, because I know often we have a lot of the non-pubs here. So uh, I, I love that uh, the other programs are also contributing. That is fantastic. Thank you, Jillian, for, for helping support that. Now, there's one other thing that was added over in our Google Doc, and I'd be remiss not to share it. And one of the last thoughts is we need to make sure that females respect and honor each other in the school and instead of bashing or making drama. Now, I think that, you know, we, we said a lot of wonderful things and things that we said that were great. But one of the things that we all say, right, is to make the covert overt. And one of those things, right, is to make sure that we are continuing to build up our community and building all of us up, regardless of, well, I guess just making sure that we all are saying good job and celebrating that person and their contributions and what they do for us. Um, any last thoughts as we are rounding out at 355? Couple things. Uh, thanks, Jillian. Thanks, Staff of House. Great town hall meeting. Thanks, Ms. Lawson. Appreciate that. It, you know, if Ms. Lawson likes it. <laughs> yes. Um, Yes, I like it. It's really nice. All right, all right. Um, Miss Rice um, for Communications says, working for the Children's Guild Alliance, you are an essential worker and now eligible to receive the COVID-19 vaccine. Do your part. There is a link there in the chat. So those that are still trying to find um, more information on vaccines, you can find that. And don't forget about Guild Link. There is ways that we share information there as well. Um, and of course, you know, Jay likes to say that there are still 26% uh, strong men who are work for this organization. And of course, Z, yes, and are non-binary who probably fall in a percentage that we don't have and we should have that data. We should. That being said. No, Ray, we will. We are, we have, Nish got me. Oh. <laughs> we will have it. <laughs> yes, we will have it very soon. And there are focus groups that are coming out to actually ha uh, have um, gather more data and more information so that we can ensure that our organization continues to, to focus on DEI. So thank you all for your participation. Any last words? Maura, Kelly, Jen? Those that participated in the drawer submitting their pictures and participating um, with highlighting women in, at the Children's Guild, um, we will be making the announcements um, the last Friday this month. Um, the gift cards are going to be uh, mailed to your addresses on file. Um, full disclosure, the first uh, prize is going to get a $200 gift card, Amazon. Um, second prize winner is going to get a $150, and the third prize winner is going to get $100. Um, once we collate the information, Kelly has all the details, we will be announcing um, company-wide um, to let you know who won, and they'll be receiving their gift cards and their books to the addresses on file. And as if, if you ever a segue that Maura should say, there is a poll right now about what is your preferred communication method for receiving company-wide pertinent information. So there's a lot of stuff that go out. There's email blasts, there's et cetera. What is the, the best way that you would like to be contacted for um, pertinent information? Go ahead and fill that out so that we have that information and we can tailor it much more specifically. Anything else? CEO, 
Would you like to, to close us out? Sure, always appreciative of everyone's time. Thank you for putting this together today. Excellent job, everyone. And I appreciate the interactive experience.